It has been six years. It's been so long. I think it has been about six years. As we kept going, we focused on making the process easier and more efficient. Hello, we are Future Field, an urban smart farm developer and operator based in Incheon. We grow 3,960 seedlings vertically in 100 mm2 space. It all started with a simple wish to grow strawberries. As we kept going, we focused on making the process easier and more efficient. We began R&D in 2020 and experienced lots of different trials and errors and completed the current system in 2024. It has been six years. It's been so long. I think it has been about six years. The biggest factor was the price. Basel has a high and volatile market price. It has high average annual price. I chose to grow this crop since it is one of the easy crop to grow inside the smart farm. We harvest basil leaves as needed so there is no fixed cycle. We harvest the leaves as needed. After planting the crops, orders are fulfilled fresh harvest today. If ordered today as each plant's life cycle ends, we plant new ones in rotation. There is no harvest cycle. We basically harvest every day, except for the weekends. We grow everything from seed. Seedlings are raised separately, then transplanted into the system. Our main customers are online stores and Italian restaurants. We also supply to local restaurants and wholesale markets. On our online store, we do sell fresh basil leaves. We also produce and sell basil pesto as a value-added product. Our pesto is made fresh by harvesting basil on the same day it was ordered. We make it on the same day and ship them. Compared to the ones in the market, it has less preservance and has stronger scent since it is made with fresh leaves. Since it is not dried or freezed basil, it's extremely fresh. Our strength is compact module system, mist-type circulation system using aeroponics, and the vertical aeroponics growing mediums we developed ourselves. It can be a bit difficult to understand. Our system is cultivating vertically like this and misting nutrients. With high oxygen level, it is better for the growth because it is vertical, not multi-level. It is very efficient. Unlike container farms, we aren't affected by outdoor temperature. It is because we are located inside the Buidling. Containers can be affected by external environments. If we set everything up inside the container and install all of our system, it can reduce the space for cultivation. Inside the building, space is better utilized, better insulated, and airflow improves. I'm sure it goes the same for EV1 in the smart farm industry. Every smart farm worries about three things, lighting, ventilation, and nutrients. We solve the nutrients part by R&D, and the ventilation could be solved easily by air conditioning or HVACC. Lighting was our toughest challenge. We met with many lighting companies and ran many tests. It was challenging to find the right lighting. After coming across Hippo FarmTech, we had meetings, consultation, and got to try the product. It was the lighting we wanted. Their lights matched our spectrum needs, had good intensity, and produced minimal heat. Compared to other brands, it produces less heat. Lower heat made temperature control easier. Ever since we met Hippo FarmTech, lighting has been worry-free. Electricity is the biggest cost in smart farming. This is how we solved the problem. We registered our farm with Kepco as a farm to get agricultural rates. That reduced the electricity cost. Also by reversing day and night for the plants, we use electricity at night off peak rates and save significantly. Many people worry about the initial investment. Costs vary depending on system type and scale. It's hard to say exact cost, the biggest difference of our farm with others is, our system is lightweight and modular. We developed and install everything ourselves. Compared to other systems, we can reduce startup costs by up to 50%. As for the maintenance cost, 
Aeroponics uses 90% less water than traditional hydroponics, so maintenance costs are also much lower. We are promoting through online and will soon attend expos and exhibitions to offer consulting. To the people considering this challenge, we are not trying to say our system is the best. We want to educate and share to let people see what smart farming can be. Over the years, we've tried many crops. Machinery issues and hardware issues can be solved with testing. But the biggest barrier is lack of agricultural knowledge. Studying what crops you want to grow, the growing environment of the crop, and how it can be applied to smart farm will help a lot. If you're already in agriculture, focus on learning the tech side. It helps. Future Field aims to become the new standard of urban farming and the most typical smart farm. We'll keep working to grow more with less space. Thank you.